How to use flat buffers in Python the right way. I have two questions regarding the use of flat buffers in Python that focus around how to use them the right way without writing code that utterly defeats its performance advantage. I want to use flat buffers for serialization and network communication between a C hash and Python program. I have read the tutorial, Python specifics and some blog posts that use other languages with flat buffers but couldn't find one for Python. 1. Flat buffers are for fast serialization. Is this even true for Python? The performance for Python just states OK where other languages get great. Specific times are missing. I know that Python is generally not as fast as C or C++, but how slow are we talking? To the point where it defeats its promised performance advantage, for example compared to JSON. Maybe someone already did a benchmark with Python? If not, I will try to write one that compares times between C hash and Python and also flat buffers versus JSON in Python. Two, it is fast because of zero copy. But what does that mean for a program that needs to alter the data? Especially since the objects are immutable. In order to work with them, I need to copy the values into my local representation of the objects anyway. It doesn't defeat that the purpose. The tutorial states this example for reading from a flat buffer. Aren't those last two lines just copies? The design of flat buffers heavily favors languages like C, C++ Rust in attaining maximum speed. The Python implementation mimics what these languages do, but it is very unnatural for Python, so it is not the fastest possible serializer design that you would get if you designed purely for Python. I haven't benchmarked anything on Python, but a Python-specific design would certainly beat flat buffers Python in many cases. One case where the flat buffers design will win even in Python is for large files that are accessed sparsely or randomly since it doesn't actually unpack all the data at once. You typically use flat buffers because you have the performance critical part of your stack in a faster language, and then you also want to be able to process the data in Python elsewhere. If you work purely in Python however, flat buffers is possibly not your best pick, unless, again, you work with large sparse data. Better of course is to not do your heavy lifting in Python in the first place. I now made a benchmark in Python to compare JSON and flat buffers and think the answer could benefit someone, so here we go. The setup is as follows, we got a client-server architecture, on the same machine, both in Python with sockets and asyncio. The test data is a big dictionary with values as strings, numbers and lists that contain other dictionaries also with string, number and list values. This tree gets max 3 levels deep with around 100 objects per list. The flat buffer schema uses tables for the dicks, vectors for the lists and structs for dicks that only use float and in fields. The test data for the flat buffer test is filled into a flat buffer builder and returned as byte array, serialization, sent to the server via a socket and asyncio reader slash writer, transformed from byte array back into a FB object and a few fields are accessed by the server, deserialization, the deserialization time is then sent back to the client. The test data for the JSON test is converted to a string via dumps and then transformed into a byte array sent to the server via socket and asyncio reader slash writer transformed from byte array into a string and then via json dot loads back into a dictionary then the same few fields are accessed by the server deserialization the deserialization time is then sent back to the client i know that there are some points one could argue about regarding the setup for example not transforming the data back into a dict in the flat buffer test. If someone is actually interested in this I could advance on this test. But now on to the results.
My conclusion is, that one should not use flat buffers in Python, if you want to edit or create the data fast. There is no way to mutate the data in Python, meaning that you would have to rebuild the flat buffer every time something changes and this is very slow. On the bright side, it is very fast to read the data and the byte size is very low compared to JSON. So if you have static data that you want to send or read many times, flat buffers would be the solution. You do not refer to any specific link. I guess the performance of flat buffers is going to be dependent on the serialization from Python while calling the API. Python is known to be slower than, say, C or C++ in that. Regarding zero copy, Google, and Wikipedia, is your friend. Tutorial says depending on language. What you are saying suggests that in Python you won't get exceptions. What the documentation say? Do your experiments confirm it? Show us some effort of solving the problem. Hard to say. What have you tried and what results have you got?